All right, so real quick before we get started, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. After you finish this video, I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know which design option you think is best. Number one, two, three, or four. And be brutally honest, I promise I can take it. Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Wrap Up. My name is Tyler and I'm a designer at an architecture firm here in California. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. I post weekly updates of what it's like to work in an architecture office, as well as anything else related to architecture and design. So if you find that kind of stuff interesting, consider subscribing down below. Let me know what else you wanna see from me. All right, so let's get into this week's work. I left off on last week's episode with an initial design of a roof canopy structure that I did for a new school project that I recently started. If you wanna see the full scope of work for this project, as well as the three other schools that I'm working on, check out the card above for that episode. So this roof structure that I'm designing is gonna provide shade for anybody who's waiting to get into the administration building. But it's also meant to kind of dress up the front of the school and provide a clear indication of where the main entry is. I mentioned last week that two of these four schools look very similar at the entrance. So the roof structures are gonna look pretty much the same. There's two other schools that have very unique entrances, and so those roof structures will look completely different. So this week I was mainly focused on the roof structures for those two schools that look identical, which is the ones you saw last week. I expanded on the design concept that I started with last week, and I came up with a few more design options so the client can pick from the best one. Design option number one is expanded on from last week, where I took inspiration from the way the front of the schools currently look. There's these large column structures with a single slope roof at the entry, and my roof canopy plays off this design. I used two large columns with a double pitch roof on top, and that second pitch further opens up the entry and welcomes the public. I thought the header spanning across was a great place to put some signage too. And there's also opportunity for some cool lighting as well. Design option number two isn't actually my design. This is taken from another school that's doing the same thing we are, but it's being done by a different architecture firm. We were told by the client that they liked this design, but they kind of wanted something a little bit better. So I thought I'd model in this design just to use it as a point of comparison. It's a very simple design, which isn't always a bad thing, but I think we can do better. Design option number three was my take on improving what the other firm did in design option number two that you just saw. I brought in the brick planters that you see at the front of the school now, and I created a more cantilevered structure for more visual interest. Structural engineers hate cantilevers, but hey, what are you gonna do? Design option number four was a suggestion from another architect in my firm. Most of the buildings on this campus have a gable roof, which is a pretty common type that most of you have seen before. This is kind of a modern take on that shape. I took the ridge where the two roof planes usually meet and broke them apart to create different elevations. So just as a quick note, I don't always get to design things like this and create renderings and videos. This is just a small part in the overall job of an architect, or in my case, a designer, but the same thing. But when I do get to work on things like this, it's a lot of fun. The way my office is set up, it's an open studio. So we have the benefit of getting everyone's opinions on our designs. Sometimes we'll leave printouts of our designs on the island counters in the middle of the office, or we'll even pin them up on the wall and have a whole studio presentation. If you went through architecture school, you're very familiar with these pinups. This one's actually taken from my fifth year thesis presentation, but I'll talk more about that in another video. Not all offices still do this, but this is the best part about being in a collaborative environment like I'm in. You get to hear different perspectives from everyone. I got a lot of good feedback from everyone in my office, but I always like to hear what people outside my office think. So leave a comment down below and let me know which design option you think is best. So that about wraps up my week. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it takes time to model in all the context of the existing buildings on this campus. Plus all the time to design the roof canopies and render them. 
Next week, I'll be working on the other two schools with the unique entrances, so stay tuned for that. And make sure to check out previous episodes to see the rest of the work we're doing at these schools. That's going to be it for this episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.